This video goes out to John of Vermont, the well-known chess collector and connoisseur of all things fine and excellent, in celebration of his impending retirement, which I know he's greatly looking forward to, although doing inspection for the uh, food industry is a fascinating job, which anybody would covet. So this is how the, these sets come. This is the... Um, Renaissance pewter chess set. Now, I've already taken all the pieces out of here and weighed them, and I found that they weigh almost exactly 15 pounds. Actually, what I was getting was 14 pounds, 14 ounces. The chessmen alone, outside of the box, without anything. Now, that's a little bit less than the 18 pounds that they're listed in in the specs, so what's up with that? But I have to say, a 15-pound chess set is huge. A, an ordinary chess set that's triple-weighted and considered heavy weighs about 3 pounds, okay, including the double queens. So maybe 3 pounds, 4 ounces tops. So, you know, 15 pounds is a hugely heavy chess set. Let's look at them. This is how it comes now. You know, it's kind of, you know, it's just cardboard box, right? Nothing special, but very serious packaging. Okay, this is all, you know, heavy um, foam rubber between every single piece uh, around, completely surrounding every single piece. So, you know, they're going to arrive in good condition. And if you keep this packaging, they will be stored and transported in good condition. So, let's see. John, look at these really closely, because the detail on them is, in fact, marvelous. Um, hopefully the camera will focus in and give you, give you the detail on these. I think you can see it better in the, the gray pewter. But, and you can see they're all um, given the decorations. Uh, the silver has the gold decoration and the gold has the silver decoration. Just, you know, very detailed. I mean, why not? They're, you know, they're cast like this, but a lot of time and thought has gone into the actual shape of these guys. Let me show you queens. Okay. She is beautiful. And I, the camera is telling me that it is recognizing her face as a face. Okay, let's get these out to show you what they look like lined up. I've chosen a kind of ostentatious reddish board to display these on. It's not actually an expensive board, but it's um, it's nice and colorful. I think it sets the pieces off well. I'm sure you have your own idea of what you'd like to set these on. The bishops, bishops of course, pawns, you know, even the pawns, very detailed. Are you getting our focus? Yeah. Bishops, pawns. So, as I was saying, they're very heavy. And even the pawns, you see, they're not like little pawny pawns, they're big, actually knight in armor pawns. So you can feel the soul of chess when you play with them. Let's see now. If I wanted to take a little extra time, I would edit this uh, setting up process. But hey, you know, as long as I'm doing this, John, I want to say it was a pleasure seeing you as always. You really light up the um, chess collector's events for me. Of course, I'm sure you have that effect everywhere you go because you're just a real spunky guy. I'm sure your wife is thrilled with all the entertainment you provide her. And, uh, we all are when we get to spend time with you. Do, 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 do. Oh, I see there. Do, 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 do. Let's 
So let's see, what can I tell you about these? I, uh, I did measure them. I sent you the measurement of that. I don't remember exactly what it is. For your information, these squares of this board are two inch squares. Here, I'm going to get a ruler out so I can measure every little thing for you, okay? Because, you know, what's the point of showing a chest set if you can't tell it all? Okay, here we go. Let me just give you a little zoom. Zoom, please. Yeah. Okay. Um, you may not have seen these before, but it's a um, sort of a multi-visual dinosaur ruler. But it's guaranteed to have accurate inch measurements. And uh, as I was saying, this guy's three and a half inches. King Pawn is three, just over three inches, maybe three and an eighth, between three and a sixteenth and three and an eighth. Um, this guy is about three and a quarter to the top of his ears. Okay. Um, what the heck, I'll tell you what the rook is. The rook is about three inches. And last but not least, the mighty diagonal runner, the bishop, is three and a quarter inches tall. All right, so now here's something interesting. I told you they're very heavy. You can feel how solid they are. However, I did discover, I peeled off the bottom of one of these, and I discovered that although the pewter is very thick, it actually is um, filled with some kind of heavy composite material. I'd just like to show you that if I can find one that reveals itself easily. Yeah, so. Um, I would have been thinking all the time that these were 100% solid metal. I don't know, maybe that wouldn't make sense in the casting process, really, but... Okay, here we go. I can get a fingernail on this. See? So you can see... Uh, there you go. Let me give... Can you, is that focusing in? Get my fat fingers out of the way. Okay. So you can see it's just thick and substantial, but um, there's a heavy composite material in there also that fills it in. So, so you know, they're not metal through and through. They're very thick metal, but they are filled with heavy material. And I say heavy because you can't have something light in there and have a chest that weighs 15 pounds. You know what I mean? This is way substantial. And as I said regarding the feel, it feels like solid metal. You know, it's that heavy in the hand. I don't mean to be heavy handed, but my hands aren't heavy, the pieces are heavy. Okay. So, I'll just give you some close-ups on this. Um, oh, yeah, did I get this board right? Yeah, these are two inch squares. Or actually, they're just shy of two inches. It's a, a metric measurement. I think that would be five centimeters. Um, so like a sixteenth of an inch shy of two inches. That's what we call two inch squares nowadays because that's the closest approximation with inches. And it really is close enough. Okay. If you hear some chattering in the background, that's my kids playing a video game. They have to talk loudly while they do that. It's actually a very social event. And uh, here you go. I uh, hope you're getting a good view of these guys. What else can I tell you? 
how's it feel? How's it feel to play a game with them? Uh, let's see, I'm having gray as white. I guess it's up to you how you see it. Maybe I got it wrong, but anyway. Typical opening, typical response, typical follow through, typical follow through, kind of a, yeah, an interesting continuation going like this. Uh, let's see, just, you know, typical moves. Anyway, I'll stop talking so you can get the feel of pieces. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm not going to play this game out because it doesn't look interesting anyway, but the set is interesting. The set is interesting. So, any questions? Oh, I really should tell you, this set used to sell for about $800, and I sold several of them at that price. And then the company just started charging less for them, and we were able to sell them for significantly less. This really is worthy of you know being sold for eight hundred dollars as many collectors people who have bought them will tell you but it just doesn't cost that much anymore it's still so excellent thanks any questions pop me an email